What's up, guys? JT, back at you again. Um, wishing you guys a happy new year. Feeling pretty good today. Getting over this sickness, so, you know, getting back to my old self. And the uh, last few days ago, I don't even know how long it's been, I've done a vinyl update uh, per requested by Movie John 75 and uh, <clears throat> kind of got me wanting to do some more music related stuff. Uh, you know, on this channel, I'm just going to do whatever. Music, uh, comics, movies, whatever I feel like doing. But uh, I'll probably start subscribing to more vinyl updaters. I don't really know anybody in the vinyl community, but I watch a lot of videos on here. Um, but I know my boy, uh, the Jex Meister, Jex, uh, he's uh, big in the vinyl community on here and uh, been a good friend of mine on here for many years now. Um, so, yeah, he shared my video on Facebook. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. So, I figured I'd do another 10 for my collection of my vinyl ones. I'm sitting next to my, uh, actually, guys are sitting on my record player here. Um, I might show it off someday, but that's a whole other video. All right, I got 10 picks here for my collection. Got some music in the background if you guys can hear me. So, uh, band that I briefly played in, for, not really in, but I played with some of the guys for a little while, and uh, they practiced next door to me all the time, so I used to get to hear them, they were really good, they were called Old Run, they were uh, kind of a doom metal type band, they were really good. Yeah, that's that. Um, first up here, we got the classic Iron Butterfly, and I got a DeVita. Now this is the quintessential album for any uh, fuzz rock, trippy, mellow, I mean this is it. And I got a DeVita, that song is just, to me that song sums up the, the uh, 70s, the late 60s. I'm sure what year this came out. I don't know if it's 60s, late 60s, or early 70s. I'll have to research that. But Iron Butterfly, one whole side of this album is, and I got a DeVita. The album cover seen better days, but you know, I might upgrade my copy sometimes. Need to get back into collecting vinyl. I kind of took a break from it for a while. Now, any punk fan should own this one. Black Flag, Damaged. Henry Rollins, you got Rise Above, Six Pack, uh, TV Party, all the hits. And I was lucky enough to get to see Black Flag on the Ron Reyes reunion uh, a few years back now. And they were awesome, man. I mean, we uh, we had a good time that night. Got in the pit. Uh, it was just it was a good time. This uh, this is a must for any Black Flag fan. Good old SST Records. Got to love it. Um, well, these are, <coughs> there's not any kind of uh, order or anything like that. They're just 10 that I happen to have close to my record player. I keep a little basket upstairs. All my records are downstairs, but I keep a little basket here with <coughs> stuff I've listened to, and then I'll switch it out every once in a while. We got Taken Back Sunday. Um, tell All Your Friends. This album, um, in a nutshell, is one of the reasons probably me and my wife are married now. We both bonded over this album, uh, and we actually seen Taken Back Sunday about two years ago now, I think, and we uh, we got to meet um, Adam and John. Um, we hung out outside their tour bus and got pictures with them and stuff, and that was really cool. And we told them that you know they were the reason we were married, <laughs> but uh, this album is great from front to back. Uh, classic early 2000s emo stuff. You gotta love it. Uh, favorite album of mine. Now this one, this is this is awesome. Uh, this was a blind buy a few years back at a record shop, um, and the cover of it, I just had to have it. Grim Reaper. Um, I guess this is a self-titled, or is it? No, nope. this is actually Rock You to Hell. Uh, I guess that's the title track off here. Now this is, if you haven't heard Grim Reaper, this is just awesome '80s metal. Uh, high vocals, fast guitars, this has it all. 
They look like they might have been a three-piece band from the back over here. I'd like to pick up some more Grim Reaper. I mean, just look at that cover, man. Take that all in. That's sick. Good stuff. Next up, we got Uriah Heap. Um, a friend of mine turned me on to Uriah Heap. He always talked about him. Um, he, he got to see him. He's a he was an old older hippie gentleman that I used to get to talk to about music every day. But he's a he's a he moved, so I don't get to I still speak with him on Facebook and stuff. But uh, he turned me on to Uriah Heap. He's really cool man. Like the Wizard, um, just really cool seventies rock. Kind of uh, kind of reminds their stuff. Really, it's like a little bit of fantasy, I guess. Kind of reminds me of like. Uh, uh, like Fire and Ice and uh, Wizards and all those kind of 70s animated movies. I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me of that. And this is uh, Magician's Birthday. Now, if you can find this on the cheap, I mean, which I'm sure you can, I got this for like a dollar or two dollars. Pick that up for sure. It's a good one. Next up here, we got a reissue Nirvana's In Utero. The, this is the 2013 mix, double LP. Uh, Show off the gatefold here and whatnot. My favorite Nirvana album of all time. I am a the biggest Nirvana fan. I mean, it's my favorite band of all time. I know it's cliche to say, but I mean, it just doesn't get any better than Kurt. I mean, the guy was brilliant, and I kind of I was obsessed with Nirvana throughout uh, my early teen years, like the late '90s, throughout you know, now. Next up, we got ZZ Top's Debuelo. Great 70s, or this one might have been 80s. Just that Texas, dirty, gritty rock. Uh, seen ZZ Top back in 05. They put on a good show. Uh, this one has got some good songs on it. It's got uh, I Thank You. That's one of my favorites. Uh, uh, I'm a Bad Nationwide. There's a lot of good ZZ Top hits off this one. I like to i like to complete up the ZZ Top collection. Looks like I paid five bucks for this one, maybe, back when I got it. I've been collecting for a long time, so. Next up, no collection is complete without this. Black Sabbath, Paranoid, the one that started it all. War Pigs, Paranoid, uh, Electric Funeral, Fairies Wear Boots, all of them. Just a great album, another one front to back. You gotta have this new collection. Black Sabbath, you know, I got, definitely got to get all of theirs, I don't only have a few, I think. And this last one, this is an album that maybe within two years or so, back, no longer than that, I'd say about four, four or five years ago, I just found out about this album and became obsessed with it. Now, a lot of you guys are probably not going to know this one, but this is Slint from uh, Louisville, Kentucky, actually about two hours from me. Um, I discovered the Louisville scene. I'm going to do a whole video on the whole Louisville scene in the 80s. Um, I mean, it's just, it was so much good stuff coming out of there. And this album, my gosh. Um, I mean, it's just, I don't know what to say about it. It's, it's great from front to back. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely different. Like, it has some singing, but it's a lot of uh, spoken word and just awesome guitar riffs. Weird timing signatures. Now, um, I've actually talked to a few of these people from this band, um, you know, on Facebook and uh, here and there, and, and really nice dudes. And I mean, this this album is just it's amazing. You have to check out Slint. This is um, Spiderland. Now, I own this. I've got like probably six or seven different copies of this on all across all formats. It's just that good. You have to have it um, to be able to listen to your car or you know or home wherever you gotta have it it's so good check it out well that's it for this 10 um stay tuned 10 more will be coming up soon might do a comic video in between or something like that you guys have a good new year's don't party too hard tonight stay hydrated um thanks for watching peace